Hi there. In this video lesson, we are going to look at the Dairy Redevelopment Project. So we're going to think about how the Dairy Redevelopment Project can improve Dairy, a slum in Mumbai, and we're going to consider the problems that the Dairy Redevelopment Project will bring. So the skills we're looking at are analysing, describing and explaining. I'm going to give you lots of information through the video and then at times I'm going to ask you to pause the video so that you can complete an activity. So make sure you've got your jotter and a pencil or pen at hand. So a quick recap, Dharavi is the largest slump in Mumbai and around 1 million people live there. 90% of the homes and businesses that are built there, the buildings are illegal. The people who have built them do not have permission from the authorities to have them there. Dharavi used to be a swamp and it used to be located on the edge of Mumbai, but people started to build there because they needed a cheap place to build their homes and their slump has now grown to be about a square mile. And Dharavi over time has been kind of swallowed up by the city of Mumbai, which grew around it. And it's now located in the centre of Mumbai. And in actual fact, it's located on what now is quite an important, possibly really expensive bit of land because it's located between two main railway lines. And there's a lot of potential with developing the land to bring in a lot of money for businesses. OK, in this first activity, I would like you to create a list or a spider diagram showing the problems of Dharavi. So I would like you to pause the video and I would like you to put down my two ideas that I've given you and then loads more. If in your spider diagram you can explain why these things are a problem, that would be great. Pause now. OK, so hopefully you've got loads of extra ideas on your list or your spider diagram. If you can hear something funny in the background, it's just my dog, Fergus, who's just having a little dream next to me. So apologies. Don't really think it would be fair to wake him up. OK, first problem I got down then was restricted access to clean water. In Dharavi, the standpipes or the taps that people get water from are only available for use for about two hours in the morning. And that means that people within Dharavi don't have access to clean water all day. The housing is also really cramped because of the high population density. And this can cause issues because you get lots of people having to live within a small space and that helps diseases spread quite easily. Some houses might have up to 20 people living in them at once, often in just one or two rooms. OK, people have to share public toilets. So statistics vary a little bit, but between 500 and kind of 1500 people share each public toilet within Dharavi because houses don't have toilets usually. And this means that diseases can spread quite easily. It also means that some people choose not to use the toilets and they might just defecate in a bucket and throw it into an open sewer. That obviously is going to start spreading diseases such as typhoid and cholera, which are spread when um, bacteria comes from human waste and is then enters your body, maybe because you've drunk some water with this bacteria in or your food has been cooked in it. And that means that people have to spend money on getting better or they have to take days off work because they're not well, which means they can't get as much money. Housing is unsafe. Almost all of the housing is built without following proper housing regulations, which means that houses could collapse, maybe under heavy rainfall. If there's a fire, people might not be able to get out and that can cause real problems. Many industries within Dharavi are polluting and so the air quality is really bad. This can make people who have things like asthma poorlier and in general, poor air quality makes people unhealthier. So it's not a great thing. And there's also lots of rubbish. The streets of Dharavi are so narrow that it's very difficult for rubbish collection. So rubbish just builds up, people throw it into the rivers and then the rivers get polluted. But some people drink water from the rivers. So we've got a bit of a cycle there of negativity and of basically people having poor health because the water and the area that they live is unclean. OK, how can Dharavi be improved then? So there are two main ideas for how Dharavi could be improved. The top one here is the Dharavi Redevelopment Project, and that's what we're going to focus on today. So this is where slums can be knocked down and then it will be rebuilt with new housing and new businesses. So we said that Dharavi was on quite an expensive bit of land now. So developers are quite keen for that to happen, as are the Mumbai authorities. It'll look a bit nicer and it might make them some money. But there are some big drawbacks for the residents of Dharavi. 
The second idea is to let residents improve the slum themselves. So these are self-help schemes. So residents say, I want this improving, I want this improving, and then that's where the kind of effort and improvements are focused. And the next video is going to look at that. So the Dairy Redevelopment Project wants to take the slum that looks like this in the foreground to an idea where we've got lots of green space. As you can see in this picture, we've got high rise buildings and we basically have an organized area instead of kind of this hodgepodge of houses that have just been built without proper planning over time. Here we've got another idea for what the redevelopment project might look like. So at the top, we've got some suggestions for what might be included in this new area of the slum. And at the bottom, we've got what it looks like now. But these are only ideas because the Diary of Redevelopment Project was first suggested in 2004. Plans have been approved by the Mumbai authorities. So they said, yep, it's OK to knock down those slums because remember, those houses are illegal and we want you to rebuild the slum. But only one block of flats has been built so far. Nothing else has happened. Time after time, people have said, I want to do it. They've bid for it and then they've pulled out. And so actually, the plans keep changing slightly and nothing really has happened. Now, the project is estimated to cost over two billion pounds, three billion dollars, and it will take a minimum of seven years to complete. So if you think, it was first suggested in 2004. We're now in 2021. Nothing has happened yet. Doesn't look like these improvements are going to be made that quickly in the future. And here at the bottom of the screen, I've just got a newspaper headline um, where it says Darafi sees no bidders. DRA, that's the Darafi Redevelopment Association, plans to adopt self-development. So basically, the last time in 2017 that um, people were put out to make bids, to do the Darrowview Redevelopment Project, no one really stepped up. Now that might be changing at the moment, but this improvement is going pretty slowly. There is though a general plan for what will happen when the slum is redeveloped, if this goes ahead. So the first thing, housing will be improved. So high rise apartments with sewage, water and electricity will be built, just like this one on the right. So this is the block of flats that has been built in the slum. OK, so residents who have lived in the slum since 2000 will get a new flat in these high rise blocks. So if you move to the slum in 2000 or 2003 or 2017, you're eligible for a flat. Bad times, though, if you move to the slum in 1999 or in 1990, you're not going to get a flat. You're going to have to go somewhere else because they might knock down your house. Sanitation will obviously improve and so will health. The flats will have flushing toilets. They will have clean water. And so people will be able to go and they will be able to have a better life. It will also be possible to get bin lorries in and so rubbish can be collected. So sanitation will be further improved there. The Diary Redevelopment Project will also improve opportunities for industry within the area. That's because businesses will be attracted to the area because there'll be lots of new office blocks built and new shopping malls. And so people are going to come to Diary and spend more money. This will improve the economy of Mumbai and jobs will be created. In addition, any industries that were in that area of Dharavi before the redevelopment project will be allowed to stay as long as they do not cause pollution. So that's going to be really helpful because lots of people might still be able to keep their jobs, providing employment. OK, second activity then. So in a second, you're going to pause this video and complete this activity. At the bottom of the screen here, I have five things that the Darrowvie Redevelopment Project will improve for residents of Darrowvie. I would like you to copy out each benefit and then explain why it will be good for the local residents of Darrowvie. If you need to, you might want to look back at your notes from last week because you might want to use some statistics to make your points more detailed. So copy down the first bullet point. Some residents will be provided with a new house. This will be 21 metres square in size and then explain why people getting a new house will be a good thing. 
then do the same for the second, third, fourth and fifth bullet point. OK, pause now. Alrighty, hopefully you have been able to explain why each of these bullet points are positive. So let's just quickly go through them. People are going to get a new house. These houses will have been newly built. They will be clean and fresh inside. They will have separate rooms for different members of the family, separate kitchens, separate toilets, separate bedrooms. And that is hopefully going to give the people living there some privacy. And it's also going to mean that they're going to be living in hopefully quite a high quality place. The new houses will have clean running water in them. Well, people straight off are going to be healthier because they will have access to clean water all day so they will not have to drink dirty water they are going to be at a much lower risk of contracting diseases such as cholera and typhoid the new houses will have toilets in them this means that people are going to be healthier as all of their waste is going to go straight into the sewage system so there will be no open sewers there will be no chance of the drinking water becoming contaminated by toilet waste the houses will be built to meet building and fire regulations Excellent. This is such a big improvement to the houses that people are currently living in in Darravi. That means that the walls are built to withstand weather and the load of people living within them. It means that fire evacuation plans have been put in place. It means that there will be safe ways for people to get out if there's a fire and the buildings will have been built hopefully with non-flammable materials, unlike some of the buildings in Darravi buildings in Darravi currently that have just been built with whatever people could find. And the redeveloped area will have clear roads which vehicles such as bin lorries can access. Excellent. This is going to reduce the amount of littering, hopefully, and the amount of pollution in the area. So people will be healthier. If there's less rubbish around, there'll be fewer rats and diseases that rats spread will not be spread as much. It also means that things like ambulances and fire engines can get into the area if required. But there are some big drawbacks to the Darivy redevelopment project. So first drawback, it hasn't started yet. The first idea was in 2004. It was meant to start in 2013 and we're now in 2021 and nothing has happened. So this is something that might never happen. And it means that whilst people are focusing on this project, Maybe money isn't being spent elsewhere on different ways that we could improve Darivy. So the people of Darivy are losing out because their lives aren't being improved at the moment because people are focusing on the Darivy redevelopment project. People who have lived there before 2000 will become homeless if their area of the slum is knocked down. They have to find somewhere new to live. They will probably be moved to another slum or another area of Mumbai. And that means that the community spirit, which Darivy is so famous for, will be lost. Imagine being forced to move to a different place, a different city. This actually happened in Glasgow in kind of the 60s and the 70s when they were trying to clear people out of the inner city slum areas of Glasgow. And we saw that the people who were split up and moved away, the communities that were moved, People there were really sad about it. It had a real negative impact and it increased things like crime and isolation. So it's not a great thing. So like we said, the sense of community spirit will be lost. The new flats are smaller than most of the houses that people live currently in Darivy. So you move from a house that you have built and been able to make bigger and been able to adapt to your family's life to a flat that is effectively a box that you can't adapt. You can't extend out or up because you're in a tower block. And you also can't kind of move walls or make little adjustments because you're in a really well-built flat. So people are a bit worried that actually they're gonna lose space. They're gonna lose out. The flats might become vertical slums. So, this has already happened in Mumbai, where another slum, the, these flats, kind of flats were built. OK, people moved into flats. The community spirit was lost and people started littering. People didn't look after the area as much as they had done when they were living in their slum. And so instead of having our slums that were spread out across an area of land, we've just taken our slums and we've spread them up. Does that improve life for people? 
recycling will no longer take place because recycling is a polluting industry. So when people in Daravi get lots of the wire or lots of the plastic, they will melt it down and make it into other things. But that creates air pollution and so it will no longer be allowed. So recycling will stop by quite a lot in Mumbai that can impact climate change, but it's also going to make people unemployed. And the other polluting industries such as the potteries will also be removed, leading to greater unemployment. Now, if you want to find out a little bit more about this, you could watch Slumming It. So we watched episode one. You could watch episode two on YouTube from about 21 minutes to the end. And it takes you around one of these blocks of flats that were built and you get to see kind of the negative side of what might happen if the Dowry Redevelopment Project goes ahead. OK, activity three. In a second, you're going to pause the video and you are going to write me a paragraph explaining why many residents in Daravi are against the Daravi Redevelopment Project. I would like you to use or try to use the following terms in your paragraph. Small, community spirit, homeless, move, poor quality, cramped, industries and unemployed. See how you get on. Remember, if you need to, you can rewind the video and listen to the last bit of information again. OK, hopefully you got your paragraph. Written. And I'm now going to ask you to do a final activity. So in blue at the top, I have a quote from an Indian government official. They say the Daravi redevelopment project is a brilliant idea and it will bring only positives to Daravi. We should get started on it right away. I would like you to work out how fully you agree with this government official. And you're going to explain your answer by giving at least three reasons. So I've given you at the bottom of the page a sentence structure. The first thing you need to do is you need to decide whether you fully agree, partly agree or disagree with this official. So you're going to pick one of the green sentences to write. Then you're going to explain why you fully, partly, agree or disagree with the official. So you're going to do the red sentence and you're going to do that three times. So you're going to say this is because you're going to give a reason. So let's say I fully agree with the official and I'll say this is because some residents in Daravi will get a new flat, which is good because. And then I'm going to explain why giving people a new flat is a good thing. And then I'm going to repeat that sentence structure twice more with two other ideas. So. Pause, give it a go, and play the video again. OK, so we're now at the end of this video. And hopefully, if you've completed all four of the activities, you can now describe and explain how the Daravi Redevelopment Project will improve Daravi. And you have also been able to consider the problems that the Daravi Redevelopment Project will bring. Excellent work. Keep yourself a pat on the back and go have a little break.